to TNA Genesis. Tonight we have a packed crowd ready to get the action started. So let's start it off with the Tag Team Championship match. This match is scheduled for one fall. It is for the TNA Tag Team Championships. So on impact, Tyler Breeze went one-on-one -on -one with Braun Breaker and he picked up the single victory. Can he do it tonight with his tag team partner, Elton Prince, and be the new TNA Tag Team Champion? Brian Breaker here, Tommaso Ciampa, both looking very, very determined to keep on to these tag team championships. These four men definitely have a battle ahead of them. First, in this corner, we have Tyler Breeze, Elton Prince, Rudy Deadly. And in the other corner, Tommaso Ciampa, Brian Breaker, the TNA Tag Team Champion. Referee grabbing the belts. This could be the last time that they ever hold those belts. Tyler Bree starting it off. Tommaso Ciampa starting it for the Tag Team Champions. And there's the bail. Look at Tyler Breeze already in the corner. Tyler Breeze tossing him up. What a power bomb there. Working on that leg of Tommaso Ciampa. Quick tag into Elton Prince. That's going to be good in this kind of matchup, though. Keep them fresh. Tommaso Ciampa, however, saw it coming. Crowd really chanting right now. Oh, look at that. Elbow into Tommaso Ciampa's face. 
Oh, look at that. Working the legs there now by Tommaso Ciampa. Elton Prince didn't see that coming. And a tag here to Brian and Breaker. You know, he's got to be in a bad position mentally here because Brian Breaker did lose a singles match against Tyler Breeze, who's in the corner there of the challengers. Going for that pin. And don't forget as well, uh, in, on the impact, Tyler Breeze and Elton Prince pretty deadly actually did go for those championships and lost them that's how uh tomaso champa and Brian breaker was able to obtain them look at that oh and he got the tag to tyler breeze tyler Bree in this match look at that right there spinning over him with a ddt Braun needs to try to get to his partner tyler breeze really taking it to him though he rose out of the ring, but look at this. Tyler Breeze right on him. The crowd going crazy right now. Oh, Brian. Brian picking him up. Look at those right hands. Left and right hands. Tyler Breeze getting stomped on here. Trying to fight back in whatever way he can. Oh, spear! Spear to the outside there. Referee already had a count of six. Brian doesn't want to win that way, though. Getting him back into the ring. Tyler Breeze is definitely hurting here now after that spear. Oh, is he going for it here? Oh, Tyler Breeze saw it coming. Oh, out of nowhere! Will he get it? Tommaso Ciampa? No. Tommaso Ciampa breaks that up, but that could have been it there. And a super kick there by Tyler Breeze. But doesn't go for the cover. That's interesting. Elton Prince in this match now. Dragging him to the inside of the ring here. Brian Breaker trying to get back up to his feet. And Elton Prince sends him right back down. Oh, he's going for that pin there, but Tommaso Ciampa right on it. Nice dirty elbow there. Don't forget, and another pin here. And no, again, broken up. But I do want to remind everyone that tonight... The TNA Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. Look at that. Landing on his feet. But the TNA Heavyweight Championship will be on the line tonight between Cody Rhodes trying to take the title from Jinder Mahal. Look at Elton Prince, though, going after Tommaso Ciampa. Both tag team champions down on the outside. Tyler Breeze gets that tag. I don't know if the referee saw that, though. Looks like he is going to be the legal man, though. Ron Breaker trying to fight back here. Sending him back into the ring. Referee gets tripped up there. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Brian Breaker, though. The power on Brian Breaker sending him down. This could be it. One, two, no. Going for that pin. To Muscle Ciampa though, right there. They're going to have to do something with him. You can see Tyler Breeze getting frustrated there. Went for a leg drop, but Brian got out of the way. Oh, and what a drop kick. Right to the side of the head of Breeze. Got that tag. Wait, what is Tyler Breeze doing? Look at that. Athleticism from Tyler Breeze. Almost seemingly coming out of nowhere. Fighting him off here. Tommaso Ciampa got him in a neck breaker. Oh my God. What a move there. Elton Prince getting into the ring and look at that. I think Tyler Breeze actually kicked out of that. 
Oh no. Drop kick. Landed on Tyler Breeze as well. Brian Breaker back into this matchup. Wait a minute. Brian Breaker flying over the top of rope. Tyler Breeze goes down. A man of Brian Breaker's size should not be able to fly over the top rope like that. Elton Prince trying to fight down Brian, but he is full of adrenaline right now, fighting both of these two. It's hard to stop Brian once he gets going. Oh no, we're at a six count here. Look at this. Oh, and he knocks him down. At a seven count here. But this isn't good though, because Tyler Breeze actually needs to go out to get the championships. Elton Prince, we're at a count of nine. Oh, and Elton Prince knew it. He just wanted him to stay down as long as possible, which may not even be a good idea. Brown Breaker with a huge headbutt, trying to get back into this. He was full of adrenaline, look at that. That power comes out of nowhere. Thank you so much for tuning in to Genesis. Got a five count here by the referee. Looks like Brian Breaker is going to make his way into the ring. Can, can Elton Prince get up? Now, if they do get a count out, Brian Breaker will retain. Oh, look at that. Elton Prince is in the ring now. Oh, look at that. Right hands. Oh, he went for a big boot there, but missed. Oh, what a punch right there. Goes down. One. No. Elton Prince gets a shoulder up. Tommaso Ciampa getting into the ring now. Oh, right there on the back of that arm. Wait a minute. What a clothesline there by Elton Prince. Getting to his partner. That's a smart move there. Tyler Breeze now into this match and what a clothesline as well by Ciampa. Giving him that receipt. Oh, I think he went for another one there. It's just clothesline galore in this matchup. Oh, he went for his maneuver there. Tommaso Ciampa setting him up. Look at this. And he sends him down to the mat. That could be it right here. One, no, Elton Prince. Gets that break up. Oh, look at this. Brian, though. Telling him off. Oh, wait a minute. Right there. Tommaso Ciampa. Right hand to Elton Prince. And a drop kick to him as well. Both of these men on the outside now. We got Deja Vu from earlier where the Tag Team Champions was on the outside. But now it's the Challengers. What is Brian doing? Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Breeze trying to fight away from it. DDT again to Brian. Brian Rose on the outside, but quickly gets back in. He does turn around just in time, but look at this. The power on Braun Strowman got him up. Slams him down. That could be it. One, but no. Elton Prince once again. TNA management as well. Oh, wait a minute. He's got him once again. Got him up for a second time. Slams him down. That could be it right there. One and again. As I was just mentioning, no, TNA management has said, though, there may be a new rule coming for tag team matchups. More information about that later. Tyler Breeze fighting out. Look at that bulldog. I believe Braun Breaker's got a cut on his head there. Elton Prince, but no, Braun Breaker stands. Oh, not that time though, a second one to the face of Braun Breaker. Elbow drop by Elton Prince. This isn't looking good for the tag team champions. Ciampa right on it though, didn't even get a one count really. 
Look at that. Oh, he goes for that big boot again, but misses. Oh, and he goes and misses as well. Brian might be a little bit delirious. He's got that blood coming down off of his scalp. Oh, and another knee straight to the head of Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, excuse me, Braun Breaker, as I should say. And another leg drop. Tyler Breeze going to the outside of the ring. Definitely wearing down that spot on, on Braun Breaker's head. Oh, and he's once again, though, can just lift him up. No problem. Even with his injury, you know he's got to be lightheaded. Braun sending him back into the ring. Oh, look at this. Going to the top rope. Something Braun doesn't do very often. But he didn't miss it once again. Very, uh... Oh, look at Tyler Breeze. Mocking the crowd, but look at that a tag. And he doesn't see it, but now he does. Oh, but that could be too much right there. Look at this, Tyler Breeze, Bulldog. This could be it. He's going for that pin. One, two, no. Tyler Breeze thought it was his time there. Thought he was going to be TNA Tag Team Champion. But Tommaso Ciampa had other things in mind. Able to get that shoulder up. Oh, super kick. Sends him down. Will that be it? One. No, Braun Breaker does manage to get into the ring in time. Breeze going to the top rope. My God, what a splash. And once again, slams down on him. No, how? Tommaso Ciampa got the shoulder up once again. You can hear the agony in Ciampa's face. Or, or excuse me, hear the agony in Ciampa's voice. And the pain on Ciampa's face. Wait a minute. Look at that out of nowhere. Going for that pin. Of course, Tyler Brizo sees it right there. Wait a minute. Muscle Trumpa said, get out of my ring. Oh, no. Elton Prince. Trying to get him into the corner, but Trumpa said, no, that's a very dangerous place to be. Wait a minute, dragging him into his corner. And he actually gets him there. A tag to Brunch. Brun Breaker. Look at that! Brian Breaker. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. Shades of our heavyweight champion. And he gets it. He gets it. Tommaso Ciampa and Brian Breaker. They're still tag team champions. Nikita Lyons is, of course, frustrated that Blair Davenport has been given so many opportunities. But Nikita Lyons said if she wins tonight, Blair Davenport will not get a championship opportunity as long as she holds the championship.
and her opponent, the challenger from Harrogate, England, Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport has a lot, and I mean a lot, to prove tonight in this triple threat match. And a lot of people do think that she's getting too much chances, but we're going to have to find out if she's got what it takes here tonight. And their opponent, the TNA Knockout Champion from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. You know, triple threat matches doesn't always work best for the champion. In fact, they can lose the championship without even being pinned. However, they can take a little break away as Davenport and Nikita Lyons, you know, face off. So we'll have to see if that comes into play tonight. There's that championship. There's Blair Davenport, the TNA champion. Blair going straight after Nikita Lyons, though, not wasting any time. But the champion right behind her, but she does see her right away. Neck breaker to the champion. Nikita Lines with a perfect suplex there. Remember, this matchup is for the TNA Knockouts Championship. Oh my God, what a kick to the chest. Taking down the queen of TNA. But that's not going to come without any receipts there. As Tiffany Stratton. Look at this, just working them over here. Nikita Line back on her feet though. Referee couldn't get in for that count. Nikita Lyons got her up. However, Blair Davenport can't let this go. She could get that submission on her, and if she taps, the match is over. And then Nikita Lyons is the new TNA Knockouts Champion. Oh, look at this, trying it on her this time. Tiffany Stratton, of course, saying, not in my ring. Sending her to the corner. Look at that athleticism by our TNA Knockouts Champion. Just working the ring right now, knowing where everyone is. Look at that drop kick right there. Oh, and again, a huge kick. That could be it right there. One, two. Oh, and Tiffany Stratton kicks out at the last moment. Blair Davenport was worried there, but I don't know if she would have got to her in time. Blair raking them eyes of Nikita Lyons. Tiffany Stratton got her up. Look at the power. But no, Blair Davenport into a reverse DDT. Nikita Lyons got some power on her right there. Ahead might have hit that bottom turnbuckle. Working on that leg of Blair Davenport. If they can't walk, they can't wrestle. 
Tiffany Stratton right on her though. Blair Davenport and Nikita Lyons. Oh, look at that. Missed that moonsault there. But Blair Davenport and Nikita Lyons is definitely having a rivalry lately. Oh, choked her on that top rope. Oh, wait a minute. This is a devastating knee. Going for that pin, but Tiffany Stratton made it to her feet in time. Blair Davenport trying to fight. Sending her off that rope and nice shoulder block there. Oh, both of them. But it looks like Blair Davenport got the worst of that. Hitting each other in midair. Oh, the power on Blair Davenport. We can't forget that as well. Lifting up Nikita Lines into that top turnbuckle post. Oh, wait a minute. There it is, the Falcon Arrow. But Nikita was waiting on her. Knee to the face. Look at that, just trying to fight out of it. Some boots to the head. Just working on both of these girls' body parts here. Trying to make sure that they're sore. Tiffany Stratton once again going for that maneuver there that's so impressive. Nikita lines. Oh! but meets with a shoulder block. Wait a minute. That split leg there. That Nikita Lyons had popularized. But she kicks out of it. Tiffany Stratton seems a little shocked there. Blair Davenport just right back up though. Oh, look at the power on Tiffany Stratton throwing her up on her shoulders. Oh, and she went for that kick again, but Tiffany Stratton this time knew what was coming oh my god oh that kick right there tiffany stratton not up oh and blair davenport somehow gets the kick out tiffany stratton on them ropes wait a minute look at this oh neck breaker Nikita Lines with them educated feet. That's for sure. Wait a minute. Is this going to be the Falcon Arrow? She hits it. Will that be it? One, two. No. Nikita Lines kicks out at the last second. Saving Tiffany Stratton's championship there. That's what I'm saying. It's really rough on Tiffany Stratton to maintain her title here. Because she could be she could be the loser of this match without ever. Oh no, wait a minute. Look at this. Will she tap? Nikita Lines has her up. A cruciating pain here on that back. But she does slide out of it. Wait a minute. She goes for that DDT, but no. Nikita Lines. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shoulders. Wait a minute. Will this be it? Oh, my God. The Falcon Arrow to the champion. Two. No. And again. She was so close. And Nikita Lines goes to the outside. Wait a minute. What's she planning here? Oh, my God. Them kicks to the gut. Blair Davenport looks to be a little bit frustrated here as both people kicks out of the Falcon Arrow. Oh, Tiffany Stratton with that punch to the face. Wait a minute. Tiffany sending her to the corner. Wait, what's she going for here? And a nice scoop slam. Oh, Blair fighting out of it. Playing possum there. Blair Davenport. What a nice big boot there. Getting her up on her feet. Neck breaker. Oh, what a kick to the chest of the queen of TNA. Oh, my God. What a knee. That could be it. One. Two, 
three, she does it! Blair Davenport proved everyone wrong. And the winner and new TNA Knockout Champion, Blair Davenport. You know the Keita Lions has to be fuming as Blair Davenport pins the champion, or should I say former champion. This match is scheduled for one fall. It is a non-title matchup. First, coming up to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, Omos. So a big moment, a big win for one of these two men as TNA management has just informed us that whoever wins this matchup can get any match they want from anyone. That includes championship matches as well. So we're going to have to see who wins this and what match do they pick. to wonder with MVP of course the smart move is going after one of the championships either the X division or even the TNA heavyweight championship but also if MVP wins this match he can ask for a match against Joe Gacy since Joe Gacy attacked him before his match against the X division champion Axe Pop. There's almost an MVP. Here comes that bell. There it is. Almost going right away though. Look at that clothesline, but missed. MVP, but that one didn't. MVP goes down. Almost a very big man. MVP trying to fight his way up, but almost right on him. Oh, what a kick in the back. You gotta think though, is MVP 100%? Oh my God, look at the power on Omos. You gotta wonder though, is MVP 100% after the attack by Joe Gacy? But he, if he does get this win tonight, once again, will he challenge Joe Gacy? Look at that big boot though. But I mean, he has to get through Omos first. Omos a big guy. The crowd just hating it right now. MVP trying to fight back. Look at that uppercut. But no, once again, he gets one or two maneuvers in. And almost right there. Look at the power slamming him down. Wait a minute, MVP. Oh! Got a hold of him here. Look at that. And finally almost goes down. MVP picking him right back up. 
and going right back to those knees to the ribs that seems to be doing a good job keeping him down oh right there to the face MVP now in control of this matchup somehow MVP wait a minute look at this there it is the playmaker one two no way almost kicks out MVP's got to be wondering what he's got to do here almost rose to the outside of the ring wait a minute MVP fly but no doesn't get all of it almost still stands Oh, those axe handle to the back. You got to wonder if this is the best place for MVP to be, and it may not be. Look at that, sending him into that guardrail. Oh, he's got him by the air, and what a club to the chest. Wait a minute, MVP trying to fight out. Look at that, knee to the skull. Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Oh my God, what clubs. Already a five count here. A six count now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the power. Sending him straight first into that. Hardest part of the ring. Already an eight count. Oh, look at that. And they both get into the ring. MVP. Enough awareness there to know that he needed to get in the ring. Sending him off the ropes there. Going down. Oh! But he doesn't go down. That looked like it did more damage to MVP. Oh! This is very impressive by MVP. Wait a minute. Look at this. The drive-by. He's going for that pin. One. Two. No. Almost. Kicks out again. MVP can't believe it. Channing, we're not worthy. Oh, MVP getting clubs to the face. Almost got him up. Well, wait a minute. Breaks the eyes there. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, he went for those knees once again, but almost saw it coming. Oh, what a shoulder block, but MVP doesn't go down this time. Sending him into the corner. Oh, what a club to the chest. And a big splash. The power of almost just taking down MVP here. Almost fired up. Look at the power. That is it right there, ladies and gentlemen. MVP is gone. Almost can now challenge anyone that he wants. This match is for the TNA X Division Championship. And it is scheduled for one fall.
I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires I would be something better than a G Got a fire in my soul to keep burning A pain that keep hurting A curse is emerging, feel the thirst Keep on working, I won't stop, I won't quit To the top of this shit I get lost in the work, sweat dripping on a bitch I get mad, I get pissed, I get after this shit Hit the gas, feel the grip, adrenaline Never miss, I'm not patient But I've learned to embrace it Cause I've been working, I've been waiting Never complacent Cause I'm so close, I can taste it One in a way from everything I've been chasing I'm honest and I promise that I got this I'm launching, all I've wanted has been exhausting I'll teach you how to harness, control the conscious You got this, and yeah, you got this, you gotta want it First, the challenger from Franklin, New Jersey, Joe Gacy. And his opponent, the X Division champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, X Pog. Okay, here it goes. X-Pac handing the referee the championship. Joe Gacy looking at it. Look at that. And she holds it up high there. This matchup means a lot to X-Pac. So far, reigning and defending champion. Look at that. Joe Gacy goes right after it. But X-Pac moves out of the way. Joe Gacy right on him, though. Oh my God, look at that unorthodox maneuver there by Gacy. Oh, elbow to the knee of X-Pac. Referee looking on. Oh, what a leg drop there by G uh, Gacy. X-Pac needs to step it up right now as Gacy has control of this matchup. X-Pac rolls away again. But this, pay, this way it may be. Oh, wait a minute. What's X-Pac going for? What a moonsault. Taking Joe Gacy down. Club to the head there. And another neck breaker. Joe Gacy trying to get to his feet. Pulling himself up. X-Pac waiting on him. Look at that though. Playing possum there by Joe Gacy. So good at the mind games. Stomping those, that wrist of X Pac. Remember though, that X Factor can come out of nowhere. What a leg drop. He goes for that pin. One. No. X Pac gets out of it. Got to do a lot more to the X Division champion than that. Goes for that elbow drop and hits it. X-Pac clinging to his chest there. Joe Gacy with a nice backbreaker. Really wearing down the champion here like we haven't seen before. Oh, what a neck breaker. Joe Gacy kind of put himself into this matchup after attacking Montel Vautanius Porter MVP. Who we just seen lose a vicious match against Omos. Who can now ask for any match that he wants. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh look at the just strength of slamming X-Pop down to the mat. Fighting out of it. X-Pop sends him into the corner. Oh wait a minute, Joe Gacy. And again with that neck breaker. Wait a minute, we know what he's going for here. Will he lock it in? And he does. 
Will the X Division Champion tap? He's right there at the ropes, but can't reach as his arms are locked in. Wait a minute, he's trying to fight out of it. Oh, I don't think he even knew where he was there. And again with that neck breaker. That torturous neck breaker. So Gacy got him up here. Look at the power and slams him down. Oh, he's going to the top rope here. Joe Gacy. Oh, what a splash. Going for that pin. That could be it. One, two, no. The X Division Champion again. Joe Gacy finally showing some human uh, emotions there. Which was frustrating. Or frustration as I should say. Wait a minute. And again. Will he get it? He's got it locked in. But no rope break. He had his foot on the rope. Smart maneuver there by X-Pac. X-Pac trying to fight out of it. Nice scoop slam by X-Pac. Going for a leg drop. X-Pac doing all he can here to keep his championship. Joe Gacy on the outside. X-Pac. Oh, look at this. X-Pac went flying, but Joe Gacy moves out of the way. This crowd going crazy for our X-Division champion. Very mixed on Joe Gacy, however. Oh, what a slap to the chest. X-Pac not liking that one bit. Wait a minute. Joe Gacy flips him over. Sending him back into the ring knowing that he cannot win. While he's on the outside, Joe Gacy makes his way up. And he's flying. Oh my God. As X-Pac was getting up. That's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new X Division champion. Referee Dan one, two, no! Joe Gacy thought he won that there. How is X-Pac even surviving right now? Oh, wait a minute, Hurricane Rana. I don't even know how X-Pac is standing right now. I think he went for that X-Factor though. Move after move though. Joe Gacy is one step ahead, just like that right there. What I was talking about. X-Pac, stay down. Don't get up. Wait a minute, he's got it. And he hits it. Can he get it locked in? And he does. There's no way he won't tap. And he does, he taps. division champion, Joe Gacy. Joe Gacy, our new X Division champion.
the American Nightmare standing strong. In this corner, the challenger from Marietta, Georgia, Cody Rhodes. The champion looking determined here. And his opponent, the TNA heavyweight champion from Punjab, India, Jinder Mahal. All right, here we go. All right, Jinder Mahal giving up that championship to our referee. There's a TNA Heavyweight Championship. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about here in TNA. Jinder Mahal looking on. And there's the bail, Jinder Mahal. Oh, he went for a clothesline there. Sending him into the rope here. Jinder Mahal. Oh my God, Cody Rhodes. That rope right into his gut. What a kick to the abdomen. Jinder Mahal. And again, a kick to that abdomen. Neck breaker there by Jinder Mahal. Oh, going to the top rope. This is something you don't see very often. Elbow drop to the challenger. Cody Nay needs to make his way out of here. But once again, Jinder Mahal to the uh, uh, to the uh, top rope to the outside. There we go. Another elbow drop, a vicious one to the outside. Cody really needs to step up his game here, trying to fight back. Oh, Russian leg sweep, his head hitting that apron. Cody Rhodes went for a double axe handle, but Jinder Mahal right on this. Knowing Cody Rhodes' playbook. Oh, and another kick. Referee already at the count of five. Throwing him into the ring. Going to that top rope again. And another elbow. Just, just punishing Cody Rhodes. Wait a minute. He's calling for it. Will he get it locked in? No, Cody Rhodes slides out of the way. That was smart of Cody Rhodes there. But Jinder Mahal right back on it with another neck breaker. Lifting Cody Rhodes up. Cody Rhodes fighting back as much as he can. Wait a minute, we've seen this before. Oh, what a move. Going for that pin to the champion. Will he get it? No, Jinder Mahal gets that shoulder up. Cody Rhodes lifting the champion up. Jinder Mahal fighting back with every ounce he's got. Wait a minute. He hits it. That could be it right here. One, two, three. What? Cody Rhodes looks hurt. The referee checking on him. The referee calling for our paramedics to come down to ringside. Cody Rhodes looks actually hurt here. I hope he'll be okay. Thank you so much for tuning in to TNA Genesis. If you want more, then please hit the like button. And as always, you can be a pal and subscribe. Oh!